good day. I greet you and thank you for the opportunity to open the show. When asked to open this exhibition, I thought that this would be a contentious show. All white students, having studied during the 1980s and 90s at a very conservative institution, the University of Pretoria. So I asked myself, what am I looking for and what do I see? The fact is, none of us can ever change or undo what transpired historically during the 1980s. We can admit to how our worldviews were defined and how separate we were as people and the role that institutions of higher learning played in educating us. I quote Venetia Govender, a social justice activist, who stated that, quote, apartheid was hard. You felt trampled. You felt less than human most of the time, unquote. The place and time described by Govender is an emotional, psychological, and physical response to a very complex history that we all shared. There is no doubt that a segregated society would experience and live separate lives unbeknown to each other. We cannot be tentative about the reality that we experienced. Remembering or forgetting does not change where we were and where we are as people, more importantly, as artists. Fact. It was a time of privilege in many respects if you were white. You had an excellent secondary education compared to people of color, even if you were poor. And having studied at the University of Pretoria, an institution that was entrenched in whiteness and Afrikanerdom, as a student, one remains branded. As opposed to black institutions, where students were tear gassed, shot at, and sprayed with purple dye. Students exposed to such were branded as radical, aggressive, communists, and troublemakers. In both cases of branding, education remains key. We cannot erase who we were then, nor can we erase who we are now. When I view another time, another place, what is political about the show is the time of the artist's study, the 1980s, and the institution at which the students studied, University of Pretoria. If the works on display were from the 80s, then one would argue these works against the backdrop of a country that was at war with itself. This exhibition, in my view, is not meant to be a political statement. It is a reunion of fellow art students who celebrate their careers as contributors to the arts co community. It is within this context that I find my focus. There are incredible moments in these artworks that provide insight into the artist and their personal vision. It's reflective of how the artist has processed time and space, the anxiety of being then and now. And yes, there are those who have made and continue to make visual statements about violence, injustice, power, and, the, and our relationships to these. And there are those who excavate time by exploring societal residues in performances, marks and textures on metal, glass, paper, fabric, and canvas surfaces. All of these are important. One can only admire their processes of making, the representations of conflicts, and the bravery of revisiting a campus that is far removed from the turmoil of the 80s. Yet it retains much of that period in names of buildings and Afrikaans as a spoken language. It is important to see this contemporary show for what it offers and where these artists are situated within the creative industries. It is unfair to see this show as anything other than the exhibition of contemporary artists who shared the same institution during their undergraduate learning. And I take this opportunity to congratulate them all. I thank you.